What is up, people of the internet? It's your boy Switch with Plug here, back with another video. Um, this is kind of a secondary intro, you guys, because uh, <laughs> I've actually had this video sitting for weeks now. I just hadn't put it out there, um, so I thought why not be a better time to show you guys uh, now. So this is this is future me. This video has already been made, processed, so adding some finishing touches to it prior to this but this is me finishing this video and getting it out today so the same day i'm recording this the same day it's coming out because i'm tired of it sitting on i'm tired of it sitting in my files all day i'm gonna get it out there to you guys it's a one of the not really a too much of a gaming video but something i really wanted to talk about uh something i thought it'd be cool like a full circle kind of thing but i'm gonna stop talking and stop showing you guys my ugly face and just get right to the content you guys came here for so if i'm really loud uh please turn me down this mic is Keeping up the tradition of me always hitting the mic in my videos. Um, but this mic is, I don't really know where to hold it up here, sometimes down here. It, it captures a lot. It's very clear and loud and stuff. And you guys probably just heard a notification. And I probably blasted your ears right now. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking and hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace. excited to see what he's going to do next but as for right now it's very you know it's very heart-wrenching to you know, have someone as amazing as, as Bruce leave um, on the company he's been with like uh, 18 plus years and um, I'm, I'm not, I've never told you guys this or at least I don't think I have but I want to be a director when like soon like that's what I strive to be I'm Bruce I have some news I'd like to share what is up, people of the internet? It is your boy Twix to the plug here back with another video. And today I'm coming at you guys with a kind of different type of video that uh, is I'm really late on, as you guys heard in the beginning. Uh, I just knew that. I'm really late on. Uh, so for those of you who clicked on this video who might be curious, um, the clip you saw in the beginning was from four years ago when I was just a, a yay high youngin on the interwebs trying to get my name out there and and uh it was when bruce straley the man you saw in the beginning and are seeing uh, right now you guys are streams uh, uh screens decided to uh leave the gaming industry um if you don't know who bruce straley is he was the game director at uh Alley Dog for a number of years, uh, worked over there on projects like, uh, you know, The Last of Us, Jack and Daxter, uh, the Uncharted series especially, and when he left, uh, it, it really, like, it, it kind of stuck with me, man, uh, oh, sorry guys, I gotta sneeze, or at least I felt like I had to sneeze, <laughs> that would have been bad coming to the mic, <laughs> um, but no, so I, it, it would have fundamentally it was inevitably going to change how Naughty Dog kind of worked. I was interested to see what he was going to do next, who was going to be, uh, you know, kind of taking his place at Naughty Dog. And, you know, I'm excited to say, like, you know, just a few, it was now, a few weeks ago, uh, Bruce Shirley announced that, you know, he's back. Him and uh, a group of very talented uh, creators, as he called them, uh, like minded people that, and it, it's are inclusive and diversive and they're calling it wildflower wildflower interactive this is new studio and it's it's gonna be great man i can only imagine the kind of stuff that bruce is is gonna do next i'm really excited and in the video that you guys are seeing clips of in the beginning where he's kind of introducing the wildflower interactive to the fans he's basically saying that like he didn't even know if he was going to come back to make games but the longer he stayed away, the more these ideas kept flooding through his head, and how 
they started to becoming really good to the point where it started becoming exciting again for him to come back to make games and that prompted him to not only build a team but make a studio and make a company and you know he's back man and it's really exciting especially when you take into account the amount of grind him and the uh, amazingly talented people that Naughty, War uh, Naughty Dog put in uh, in their past couple of titles. Um, Bruce's last title before leaving, I believe, was um, Uncharted 4. And I remember uh, in the documentary on, on The Last of Us, you know, that was really pushing the team to, you know, make something new. And it was a new IP, and they, they, they it, it was, it was. It was frustrating and it was it was agonized I can only imagine the life of a game dev and trying to make something new and innovative and how that went and then uh, they were already they already didn't think the last of us would be what it was but it became to be exactly what we know it to be now and then they made left behind and Bruce said in another uh, video how it's hard to get a team of frazzled people to say let's go again after grinding for so long and then to go from that to Uncharted 4 and even though we as fans and even I, I believe a lot of the devs do you know like we lo love Uncharted 4 Uncharted 4 was an amazing game you know it, it was great it was a great way to finish out Nathan Drake's story but to Bruce Straley it felt like it didn't feel like a passion project like the other things that he had worked on in the past so that was a big reason why he kind of took a step back because Uncharted 4 kind of felt more like a chore. Um, not to say I don't think he's, you know, not proud of it or any of the games he's made and worked on and shipped at Naughty Dog, but, you know, I think that was kind of the catalyst, you know, so for him to be gone for so many years and to come back, uh, and not only come back and now he's making games, but, you know, I, it's almost like when, you know, your a favorite actor you love uh, retires or... Uh, uh, or, or a movie uh, franchise in like a trilogy or something like that or just or something any 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 analogy that pertains to this it, it kind of like I said it really stuck with me for him to come out and say that he's stepping back from making games and I remember Naughty Dog and other devs kind of saying very plainly like you know we can't wait to see what he does next and to me you know I don't know what that means. It's almost like good luck on your future endeavors, but you know, he didn't know and we didn't know. And when that trailer popped up on my Twitter timeline of him coming back, I had, man, I was so excited to see Bruce back. Uh, Bruce is responsible for a lot of my favorite games, a lot of my favorite memories uh, in gaming. It's just so interesting to hear him talk about the medium and, uh, what games has done for him and what he uh, hopes to do for gaming in the future and uh, I'm really curious I'm really curious uh, with all this wildflower stuff if he's actually you know um, like these ideas I want to know what these ideas are like he didn't in the video which I will link down in the description like in, in the video he didn't explicitly say what the ideas were but he did say the ideas were becoming very exciting and you know kind of prompting him to say to, to go from to go from I don't know if I'm coming back to these ideas are too good not to come back or even do something about I think speaks for itself and you know I'm smart enough to I'm, I'm smart enough to know that the next thing he works on will be vastly different from The Last of Us or Uncharted 4 or even Jack and Daxter and hoping that they will be you know even better than those games um you know, and if anyone can do it, I mean, it's 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 Bruce. It has to be Bruce. Um, him and the team at Naughty Dog did so much work, and just Bruce as a dev, as a director, is so influential not only to me but to you know a lot of people in this industry and a lot of fans um, that love playing games. And like I said, it, it, I'm very intrigued to find out what those ideas are. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. What you think uh, is going on in that mind of Bruce Straley there? And uh, if, if you guys are excited to see it or what kind of genres would you like to see him tackle something similar to Uncharted, something similar to The Last of Us, something similar to Jack and Daxter, or something vastly different than anything he has ever worked on. And I'm excited to see what him and this new team at Wildflower is going to do. Uh, honestly, I, I 
cannot wait for it. Uh, this announcement was made a, a few months ago, but <laughs> I'm sorry for being so late. This is, uh, it was made a few months ago, but it is honestly. Uh, I look, I look, I look forward to it. I look forward to it like a kid looks forward to Christmas, man. Uh, but with that being said, uh, I don't want to drag this video on too long. Uh, but you guys have been awesome. Uh, like I said, uh. Before I wrap it up, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think of Bruce coming back, Bruce building a team, what kind of games you want to see from him coming out. Uh, also, let me know what you think about the video in general. If you like things like this, I love to do videos more like this where I'm just talking to you guys and covering stuff like this. Um, yeah, man. So if you like the video, please like it and subscribe if you are new. And I tell my videos, I will see you guys when I see you guys. Bruce Shirley's back, baby. Woo!